Okay, Dale in Missouri, got your radio here. Thanks for your order. So this is your Digi mic here that you ordered with it. So just to let you know, because it is after May the 1st, there is a promotion by President. So if you download the voucher off of their website, you will receive, if you fill that out and mail it in, you will get one of these new remote mics, Bluetooth remote mics, absolutely free from President. I can't give you one because the deal is from President only. I do sell these and I think I have a really good price on them, but uh, this is what you'll receive from them for just purchasing the George FCC alone. You're automatically eligible for any purchase after May 1st. So um, purchase a new radio from me, you get the voucher, you fill it out, you send it in. Within so much time, they'll send you a brand new Bluetooth mic. Uh, we also have a nice mic here, so either way you go, I think you'd be really happy with either one. Um, a lot of guys may not really think this is all that, but I think it's really cool. You're not going to find a lot of other companies making products like this. This is kind of an advanced piece of technology here. Probably some of the younger generation probably would like this more because it's hands-free. Um, and with everything in vehicles now, you know, holding the phone in certain states can get you a ticket or fines or whatever. Um, Hands-free is becoming more of a thing. So I don't know about some of the older community in radio if they can really uh, approach this in a, in a good manner. But I'm not saying that they can't, but I think for, for the, the most part, probably the younger community of radio operators probably would like this better. But that's just me. Uh, I haven't had a chance to try one myself out in my vehicle. Uh, if, if anyone doesn't know, these strap to the steering wheel. And then this plugs directly into the CV. So this screws in. It's a microphone plug. Screws in here. All the information is sent from this to the radio. And you can change your channel up and down here on the CV. I think this is your PTT button as well. So it's kind of a cool piece of equipment. Uh, everybody knows about the DigiMic already, so that's nothing new. But uh, you did purchase this with it, so I'll be sending this with your radio. Uh, I'm not going to really show a whole lot on this radio, but this is your serial number here just for your reference. And uh, I'll just get this one set up really quick for you. It's a complimentary alignment that I do on these. Just make sure the dead key is at the right level. And give you just a touch more modulation, a little more FM deviation. And uh, this one will be ready to head out probably tomorrow for you. So I'll come back when I'm done and just kind of show you the power on AM and sideband. All right, really quick here, here's your FM deviation right there where it says deviation. I don't have my mouse hooked up today, so uh, I shared that with my laptop that I use for other purposes for my job. 2.17, out of the box it was about 1.86. So it's a little bit uh, stronger on the FM modulation. Okay, so now we're just going to do the third order intercept test on sideband. So this will show our intermodulation distortion, which these have barely nothing. So um, here's our two-tone. Looks excellent. Oops, we did a timeout timer. Takes me a second to set that up, that test, and didn't want to bore everybody with that. So it looks really nice. So... We'll set that up here. Basically, we have our two pips here. There's one and two. We want to make sure these are as close as we possibly can without the screen blurring. So um, it takes a little bit of time to get that close. It, it's pretty darn close. So close enough to do the test, anyways. This doesn't have to be super scientific, but uh, we'll go to our measurement and we'll go to uh, TOI. I know it's going to run the test. So this is our number here, about, I say about 27, which is outstanding for a CB radio, which they always should be. So the ARRL says we should add six to that number, so we're about 33. And that's outstanding. So, I mean, these radios are putting out the right power without any RF distortion on the frequency. So, you know, that's a big difference between some of the higher powered, whatever you want to say, like 10 meter radios. Um, and when I say higher powered, I mean like 50, 60 watt radio, some of them for whatever reason. And I've done a little bit of experimentation with a QT60 and found that when I remove one of the final out output finals, it actually, when I run that test, it actually performs much better without one of the output finals. So having said that, 
having that extra power doesn't always necessarily mean that it's working in your advantage. So that's some of the things I've been learning here as I go with this new piece of test equipment is uh, power is not everything and that's something I've always said for a long time but um, sometimes seeing is believing when you have some cool test equipment. So let's put a mic on here really quick and see what kind of power it's doing just with voice. All right, so this is upper sideband. We got our test mic here, just a standard president mic. Plugs right in and works. Up and downs work, all that good stuff. You guys know what those mics are. There's our cool president hat. Since we're doing a president radio, um, here's the power, just speaking into the mic. No screaming and yelling and hooting and hollering and all that. So it's a good 20 plus watts here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Check, check, check. Hello. And you can lower that RF power and get less if you need to. But that's with it at level 10. So um, that's pretty good. So now we'll do AM mode. So I set you at about 4 watts on the dead key and 1 watt on low. So uh, it's picking up some of the noise in the background. I got a HF radio on. I'm listening to 10 meter here. So. Sorry about the noise in the background, but uh, this is our power on AM. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Check, check. Hello. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So not, uh, not out of this world like, holy wow, that's a lot of power. But remember, this is a CB radio, so when we're seeing upwards of like 20 peak, that's pretty good out of a CB. And this is clean power. This is not all that high distortion watts and all that nasty stuff that makes these power meters just go crazy and dance all over the place so this is like real power here and of course we're always going into the uh bird dummy load here so you know everything is terminated right into a good load there and that's the coupler right there that uh, this lp is hooked up to so everything's good it's all good um if we turn this down to say like level three um the mod just come up a little bit and it's just under a watt dead or a couple watt dead key there. One, two, three, four, five. Check, check. So you can uh, obviously limit the power out if you want to by turning the carrier down. One, two, three. One, two, three. Hello. So it's up to you. However you want to run, you can. Here's level five. It's about two and a half watt dead key right there. One, two, three, four, five. Check, check. Hello. One, two, one, two. So you know it's pretty good. For what it is um, again power isn't everything so it's all about signal and clarity and these radios definitely have the notch on that over most other CBs on the market in the uh, in the AM SSB CB range this is probably like I've said before this is probably the king of CB for America now again <coughs> it isn't uh, this one which I have one of these here uh, I see a lot of people talking about all this stuff. Oh, it's a 60 watt radio. Uh, no, it doesn't do 60 watts. At least mine doesn't with the, the good alignment I did to it, which it really didn't need much, but it's about 40 plus, you know, which is fine. Very clean output on that radio too, but it's a lot of money to spend for someone that wants a radio like that. So uh, these are perfectly fine. Uh, they work well. Great sideband radio, great all-around radio just to throw in a vehicle or use as a base or have one for each. Got no issues with this radio whatsoever. I think it's perfect for our market. Um, actually, the AM is actually better on this one than it is on the on the European model, which is to be expected. So the AM is kind of slouchy on the European model. So for anyone that would buy that radio, you're not buying it for AM. The the uh, European equivalent so just keep that in mind don't expect much there um, FM is the same it's about two point something deviation I could do a video on it but it's just been busy with uh, a lot of other stuff going on so I've been under the weather you probably still hear my voice a little bit so I haven't been able to do many videos or anything so um, but we'll get back to that when time allows I still got couple antenna videos I'd like to do just show some stuff what's been going on you guys are actually listening to one antenna that I've been talking about a little bit on my channel that I haven't shown but if you can hear that radio in the background um, that's what I'm picking up some 10 meter on so it's a log periodic it's good from 24 to 30 megahertz without any gaps 
it's made by Inno Vantenna out of Europe. It's a cool antenna. So it's only like eight feet off the ground, but uh, I've been having a little bit of fun with that. So anyways, um, I'll put that at 12 o'clock for you. This one's all set for you, so we'll get it ready to send off. Don't forget about that voucher that you can send in to get the free Bluetooth mic. I would highly take advantage of that uh, before the time runs out for that. Appreciate the order and appreciate everybody watching the videos and commenting and liking and sharing whatever you want to do, subscribing. It's truly appreciated. We'll catch everybody later. 7-3.